Bum Productions. This is Nigel Rivers from Camden Council. Is that Mr. Elliot? Yeah. We're doing some tree work outside and we're going to have to turn off your gravity. Oh. It'll only be for ten minutes. Okay then. Sorry to bother you. Here's how to achieve some nice weightlessness effects without resorting to crappy CGI. In order for objects to float around convincingly, they need to rotate along at least two axes. To do this, firstly film your object spinning against a solid colour background. We do this with fine fishing line and a step ladder. So we're going to dangle all of our objects off of this step ladder from the uh, from up here. Going to sort of attach them here and then dangle them here. I've attached this wire, this fishing wire, to the pen, and that means that I can do that. So now I've got to tie it up here. Take your video of the rotating object and using an application such as Adobe After Effects, key out the background and mask off any junk still in the frame. If you can still see the fishing line, add a simple choker to expand the selected area. This will engulf the line and hide it from view. Then, and this is the clever bit, rotate the video image of the spinning object so it is now spinning along two axes simultaneously. You can now insert the spinning object into your background and adjust its size and position to make it move around the room. For floating people, you need some way of rotating them in front of the blue screen, which is trickier than it sounds if you want to shoot them full body. Here's the cheapest way we could think of to do it. So what I'm going to use to rotate myself is a spoon. With little practice you can spin around two or three times standing on a spoon. Ben, watch out the window! 